So mimi nilifanya content kujibamba. Most of it I did it for myself and I did it for my mom. But Lynn, that's a very bad place to be in if you're not really okay mentally. Yeah. Uje utapata kuna jobs nilichukua zenye maybe zilikuwa zinanilipa vibaya but since mama ataniona kwa TV. After nimesema I was admitted. Mm. Utapata kwa comment section watu wanasema oh it's because uh, they're living a fake life. Yeah, they're faking happiness on social media. But yangu lin it's something that I've worked on. It's not because I want to live a fake life. It's yes. because I created a life ama a space for myself where i can be happy where i can move with ease hata kama niko na mashida za wapi za nyumbani for the creatives that are watching because i know sometimes it's hard yeah. did you have someone you could talk to in the industry lean as much as niko na numbers niko na watu but deep down ni mimi ni mimi na ugupanga ku approach watu i don't know how to do it I'm afraid of rejection because nyumbani hujakubaliwa na wewe ulirejectiwa at birth kwanza eh ukakuwa ukakuwa rejected mara ya pili na baba wa pili I danced at a funeral or rather vile tulimaliza mazishi hivi nilimba nika dance hata vile watu waliendelea ku walienda jioni tulikaa mahali na family tumewasha moto nikaimba nika dance na watu wako ana, wanajua why i'm doing it mm. kai huyu anadanza aje time yenyewe anatoka kuzika mama yake like how A uh, very good morning to you and a warm welcome to LNS Rebuilding Series. My name is Lynn Gugi. I have great admiration for my guests today and I always say by the way one day I'll put up a panel discussion on first born schools. Sometimes the load they carry it's unimaginable but also for her to be able to want to share her story and also walk us through her grief journey, how she overcame it and take us way back to her life growing up uh, is something that will definitely inspire you so i always say the purpose of the rebuilding series is that we are able to just take a step back and ask ourselves how are we rebuilding or rather how are we building our lives i'm about to let her introduce herself but before i let her introduce herself allow me to say thank you to our official partners of today's episode absa kenya i'm so happy to be working with them guys and i always say every time we get a partner on our platform is a moment for us to rejoice kwa sababu hii safari hauwezi fanya peke yako so allow me to talk to you a little bit about Absa Kenya you can be able to open an account at the comfort of your home hizi maneno za wacha niende nipange line kwa bank zimeisha sasa just take your phone go to absa and see the It's very easy. You can actually do it at the comfort of your home. They have a digital savings account and the best part for me is knowing no one will tell you to deposit a fee. There's no 500, 200. It's actually zero minimum balance and also it's zero fee when you transact. So no one is going to charge you 11 bob or 10 bob and I love that it's multifaceted. It caters for you. So if you are teacher in the morning, your wife apo jioni, you are doing ABCD, they cater for your needs and guys i always say if you have an issue or you experience anything my email is right here info at lnn.digital please come to my inbox and let me know so that i make sure i'm not selling you guys hot air so on the pinned comment there's a link there go to it open your digital savings account with absa and let me know about your experience and also to say thank you to you guys we are heading to 800k subscribers that's the highlight of my day guys if you can be able to get us there before the year ends it will really really make my day and now without further ado please allow me to let this pretty girl introduce herself good morning good morning <laughs> the yani, struggle is real nimezoea kusikia sauti yako but si kwa sure nitakuwa hapa leo anyway yeah. you are here yes. and i am the one who should be saying thank you to have you here karibu sana asante sana how is the going the going is good the going is going good but then same too good <laughs> yes so my name is esther chebet na mimi upenda kujiita artist yeah. yeah artist generally artist 
eh, unaweza nipeleka kwa mziki naweza imba no, really. poetry i think naweza ifanya pia acting naweza ifanya i'm also a voice over artist and i create content yes, yes and you are also very beautiful we've had conversations even before you came here mm-hmm. we've been trying to plan for this yes. show a couple of bumps along the road mm-hmm. and you were so patient with me mm-hmm. you were just like lean it's okay i will come when time is right mm-hmm. welcome to our show thank you so much how are you feeling i'm feeling okay a bit anxious kidogo lakini tutasonga vizuri yes yeah. so you can sing i i believe i can <laughs> 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 I love that. Yeah. I love that. You believe you can. I believe I can. Yes. Mm. And I was just watching you the other day mm. on TikTok mm-hmm. and also a bit of that was shared on Instagram oh, yeah. and just like so many other people mm-hmm. I believe many people do not know what you've gone through yes, right yes. and we'll get to that yeah. but before we do why was it so important for you to want to share your story and your journey? I'm one person who listens to intuition yeah so deep down after my mom passed on kuna kitu ndani yangu iliniambia to you've been given the strength go do it and a piano story it's it's just for your own spiritual growth you know kuongea ni poa ku share story ni vizuri ku put your energy out there is good for the right people authentic people wakupate. Yeah. Unajua watu wanajua ule chebet mwenye anafanya vituko pale online Ma, and with that you end up attracting everyone. Mm. Everyone. Oh. But when you put your authentic energy out there, watu wakikujua who you really are, the right people will find you. So I'm on the journey, I'm on the um, quest to finding the people who are meant to be on my journey, the right people. Your tribe my tribe my, my soul people, tribe my people clan. yes you know you've said something important mm. and for some reason mm. creatives mm. or artists yeah. when you put yourself out there mm-hmm. you attract just anybody Anyone. you attract a lot of people yes. but it doesn't mean those people are your soul mm-hmm. tribe yes. hey when did that realization hit you because <laughs> man that's powerful i, I believe it was around 2020 yeah. 2020 as much as ilikuja na covid jui lockdown ilikuwa a period for some of us wanyamaze wajue ni nini wanafanya hmm? wa, wa reschedule vitu watu watu wengine kwa system you know i felt like that period for me was a period for trauma kuangalia trauma zangu kuangalia nyuma niangalie ni wapi nilipotea njia ni wapi kulienda vibaya so hiyo 2020 ndo niliona i think i need to move with an authentic energy mm-hmm. i need to put the real chebet out there at least na najua jani yangu si abure whatever i've been through my experiences my pain my you know zinafaa ku kutumika kufanya mm. ku create something beautiful for the collective how is that working for you because I've, i've done i've gone through that journey mm-hmm. that's why when i hear people say oh my god those shows i'm like they're not your shows mm-hmm. you are not the target audience yes. you are not my tribe mm-hmm. you are not my clan yeah. but before you get there mm-hmm. the journey always seems to be slower yeah. you don't even see results and you're asking yourself mm-hmm. am i actually doing the right mm-hmm. thing mm-hmm. you don't get the views yeah. you don't get the likes yeah. you don't get the engagement mm-hmm. you don't get the deals mm-hmm. you don't even get partners yes. to come through on the show mm-hmm. and you constantly ask yourself am i really doing the right yeah. thing yeah. what stage are you in right now mini <sighs> stage ya trust the process yeah. and allowing things to come in allowing my exp- myself to experience the things that are coming into my into my system ni ze kuzi observe i pick my lessons and flow mm. and flow yeah, and flow i'm just flowing with it yes. because nimekuja kuona we are not in control of the things that are happening you know in our you know in our systems Mm. We, are not, in We are not in control. Yeah. I want to get to your story. Mm. There is a part in this conversation where I like to just lay back and just let you walk us through your story, mm. but condolences about your mom, a woman you hold in so, you know, high regard. Yeah. What would you say is the greatest lesson she taught you before we get into your story? Mama ngo alikuwa ananiambia usijali. Yesi usijali. So nime nime learn to take life, nime learn kutosheka, nime learn to move na na soul yangu 
nimezoea kujisikiza anything nafanya nasikiza kama ndani yangu niko sawa then i move mamangu ameni take through kukuvumilia you know hajani imenifunza kuvumilia ku, ku you know kutosheka those mo- and i and i believe ndani ya story ni ta ni ta you know yeah. all right from the point you think you know you are comfortable with could you take us through your story life growing up you know mm-hmm. being a first born mm-hmm. as i said i've just have always wanted to have a panel discussion with first borns i'm the second born yeah. but i see how our first born shiko mm-hmm. i know the things she's gone through yeah. to just first borns wapendi kushindwa mm-hmm. they always feel like they have this not in a bad way they have a severe mm-hmm. mentality mm-hmm. when things are going wrong i want to handle yeah. this i want to take care mm-hmm. of you guys they have that yeah. you know and some of us are here because our first bonds paid a certain price mm-hmm. so if you could take us through your journey growing up mm-hmm. you know losing mom and the lessons and where we are right mm-hmm. now okay let me start with uh, my mom's journey mm-hmm. to you know vile alienda akakufa yeah so alianza kuwa mgonjwa in 2010 and he kwa na join form 4 and uh, i remember ilikuwa december alikuwa anapika uje jikoni kaniambia AC nasikia vibaya so mimi nilikuwa nimezoea kumsikia akisema oh na mwana kichwa i'm not feeling okay so nika nikanyamaza siku anaanza akaniambia mm-hmm. tena AC nasikia vibaya eh hey, nikaona ni kama ni serious kidogo the last time alisema AC nasikia vibaya ali shout AC nasikia vibaya and hapo nikashtuka my siblings walikuwa wamesimama mahali walikuwa na watch tv and i had to take her to hospital so nikamshika mkono tukakimbia tulikimbia kwa giza mm. na kwa njia mama alikuwa anashinda kusema anakufa mm. anakufa oh ameanza kuomba watoto wangu so that time alienda akatibiwa akapona but from there akaanza kurudi hospitali anarudi anatibiwa anarudi nyumbani anarudi anatibiwa nikaingia hiyo form 4 alikuwa anaingia hospitali anatoka vile nilimaliza form 4 uh, nikafanya kazi kwa cyber for about 8 months bado akawa you know in and out of hospital life ikasonga 2015 akapata a major attack ya pressure kupanda 2018 the same but sa 2018 ndo ilikuwa serious kidogo hata hapo ndo nilikuwa naona kama she's she's going uh, she she was uh, taken to hospital like akauko for two months uh nakuru heart center mm. akatibiwa akarudi nyumbani but mimi all through nilikuwa najua mama anaweza end any time and since year 2010 i've been operating on a scale of fear mimi ni fast boy huyu akienda kutaendaje eh? nitabaki na hawa where is the dad because the dad was not in the picture hata nikipeleka mama hospital siku ya kwanza mm. Mm. so nilibeba hiyo mzigo kwa kichwa for all that time so earlier this year mama kaanza kusema hakuli uh, earlier 20 last year, year 2022 akaanza mm. kusema hakuli anakula na puke anakula na puke ikawa series in june bado hakuli ameanza ku hali na dhofika ameacha kwenda kazi kidogo ameacha kwenda kwaya she used, she used to be a choir member in church mm-hmm. and uh, at a job anaenda kidogo so an aunt of mine akasema letwe aga khan angaliwe ni nini inamsumbua so kuongea na hospitali vile family ilipiga simu hospitali tukasema we want to change the hospital hospitali kakataa na mama wakasema oh tuliongea na mmoja huko akasema Esther mama ni kukula tu akuli na hatuwezi mrelease I, i think ilikuwa friday hatuwezi mrelease because NHIF zile procedures za NHIF mm. sijui za ku release mgonjwa mm. nini nini so tukashangaa what is important ni health ya, ya mgonjwa ama ni hiyo NHIF processes zenye mnataka kufanya ikawa shida shosho yangu na my uncle likabidi wamejitoa kutoka na kuru waende all the way to nyahururu afanye nini waitishe mgonjwa ikabidi wameongea na huyo director wakapambana pale at last waka wakamwachilia so my shosho na my cousin wakapanda ambulance wakakuja all the way to Nairobi wakamleta aga Khan 
mimi hii usiku nikajitayarisha nikaenda hospitali nilifika hospitali around 1 1 am nikaenda nikasimama nje emergency room my aunt was already inside mm. alikuwa anaongea na daktari from a distance i could see my mother amelala kwa bed singeenda hapo nilikuwa ni ngoje nikichungulia hivi nikijaribu kusikia nini daktari anasema nikaona mdomo wake imeongea imesema dialysis mimi najua dialysis ni nini but nimesikia ni story na nini na kidney so i had to google nikaangalia hata siku soma nikaona tu kidney nilisoma tu kidney mahali roho yangu ikaingia kwa kiatu lini nikashangaa hizi ni vitu gani kidney how how na hiyo hospitali wamekuwa wakisema ni shida ya chakula eh hey, nikatetemeka hapo nje nika nikanyamaza and then aunt yangu akatoka mimi nikaingia akilina i looked at my mother she had water retention amejaa mwili amejaa maji mwili mzima amefura hmm. unasikia kwa hiyo hospitali ingine walikuwa namuongeza mpaka maji so if it's a kidney problem mbona wanaongeza mgonjwa wa maji ukijua kidney ifanye kazi vizo vizuri so they had to put her under dialysis that Mm-hmm. on that uh, you time to hata wakuka wakasema hii issue ni serious and we have to to do it as soon as possible mm-hmm. wakaanza dialysis na wakatuambia tapelekwa ICU because beds are HDU zilikuwa zimeisha so vile walimaliza hiyo procedure wakampeleka ICU akaka pale for 3 days wakamtoa wakampeleka ward So mom akaikuwa under dialysis uh, akafanywa dialysis ya kwanza akiwa ward ya pili lini akadungwa sindano kwa mapaja damu ika clot Later nilikuja kujua ni hata iko inapiga damu vizuri so mguu ya mom i think ilikuwa the, the left leg ama the right leg i can't really remember mm. nilikuwa dunia yangu mm. mimi mguu ilikuwa inakaa mawe damu ime clot I, i can't remember vizuri what thing but hakuanaweza kusonga so mom ilibidi amelala na amelala na mgongo and my mom alizaliwa na kyphosis kyphosis ni disability ya mgongo uh, it's it's a it's the carving of of the spinal cord spinal cord imeji, imejikunja so kulala kwa ile kitanda ya hospitali throughout umelala ile hiyo ni shida ingine shida ingine so alikuwa na uchungu ya ya dialysis hiyo ya hiyo mguu alafu walisema alikuwa na anemia. So ilibidi wamemuongeza damu. Wakamuongeza damu mara ya kwanza ikakosa ku reflect. Wakamuongeza ya pili. Sijui kama ili reflect from the I can't really tell mm. you. But mama alikuwa anakasirika na hizo procedures. Alikuwa amefika mahali amechoka. You know she's been under medication for all those years. Hapa wanamfanyia procedures zenye mwili mwili inakata. So since alikuwa amedungwa sindano mingi wametafuta mpaka kwa mguno na mguu ime, ime leta shida ikabidi wamemdunga shingo and mama kwa nafurahia hiyo story wanasema kidney kikosa kufanya kazi ama kidney kiwa na issue hata brain inaleta anga shida ni kama urea inapanda mm-hmm. because damu haikui cleansed vizuri mm-hmm. ama system haikui safi so mamangu alikuwa na, na small small issues hasira you ni anxiety wakasema wamfanyie pia endoscopy waangalie ndani kuna kaji mamangu akakataa jua anasema alisema ile hospitali alikuwa ya kwanza walimwitia daktari kutoka thika akamfanyia endoscopy kama ako conscious so my mom was scared wow. she was scared she was angry she was nervous any you, you know have gone through an endoscopy really yes akiwa conscious akiwa conscious what yeah I, i don't know how that happened but she was she was rebellious oh akiambiwa kitu anasema no mm. kukaka kidogo pale agakan wakataja kuna mtu alitaja biopsy vile wameona hii hali imekaa vibaya mamangu anataka kufanywa hizo na mamangu alikuwa na, na tabia fulani akisikia kitu ana google akisikia dawa amepewa ana google and for, for those years then alikuwa anakuwa mgonjwa mamangu alizoea kuji self medicate akisikia ka, ka kitu kidogo anakimbia kwa chemist mm, mm. kitu imeuma kidogo mara moja mara moja lini leta ndo nikoja nikajua mara moja and 
any other painkiller and any strong iko na steroids mm. na when it's used vibaya ama sana inindanga inachoma system so a lot of medication hiyo yenye hiyo hizo za pressure hizo zote zenye mamangu alimeza na hizo mara moja ni kama ndo zilienda zikamfanya nini zikamchomia system na ndo ikafika kwa kidney kidney, kidney mm. kapata injury mm. So mama mikata imefika mahali anaambia daktari hataki anything else. Amesema anataka kufanya nini kwenda nyumbani kwa mamake kupumzika. Hatukushikanisha lini. Tukasema ni sawa. Tukachukua kabu. Mimi na shosho yangu paka nakuru. Mali shosho yangu anakaa. And uh, we stayed with my mom at home for some time alikuwa analala mahali chini kwa deka mimi juu usiku lini tunalala kweli uchungu hakuwa anaweza ku, kupinduka vizuri juu alikuwa bado na water retention mm. maji imejaa kwa mwili mm. anaumwa na kifua hatujui kumbe maji imejaa mpaka kwa lungs mm. leta tukajua pia maji lingia i think mpaka kwa heart alikufa na heart imekuwa kubwa mm. so she went through a lot of pain both physically and mental ilimsumbua ilim sana so tukiwa pale home mama kwa nataka kurudi hospitali but we had to take her to hospital daktari pale aga kana alikuwa ametufa kwa a kidney specialist mm. na kuru anaitwa dr kiape my very nice doctor so tukiwa pale kwa shosho tukatafuta dr kiape and we took my mom there so mama hakuwa nataka kulala hospitali but we had to do it na pale uh, kwa kiape akatwambia lazima mtu akae na yeye because she was immobile nani akae na yeye first born so mimi ndo nilikuwa na mom kwa hospitali we stayed with her i think for for about a week for about a week yeah so vile nilirudi kwa hospitali mom vile aliniona lini i saw someone different aliniangalia kaniambia nitoe hapa amefika hiyo point yenye mwili inajua inaenda spirit inakata lakini soul nayo inajua mali inaelekea so aliniangalia kaniambia nitoe kwa hiyo hospitali nipeleke kwa ule daktari alikuwa na daktari pale heart center alikuwa na daktari mwingine alikuwa anaitwa dr ogada but now we have faith in this other doctor mwenye amekuwa all through alikuwa anajaribu kutoa maji kwa system mm. that was what he was doing anatoa maji kwa system at the same time anamfanyia dialysis but mom mama alikuwa amechoka leni ame kasirika na tuambie ana shout ana scream so alikufa kama mikasirika sana sana and uh, she could not understand that i don't know i think alikuwa dunia yake mimi nilikuwa dunia yangu but mom ni kama alikuwa anajua kabisa anaenda because around april last year alikuwa ameongea na some family members akawaambia wa create miss tarehe sita she was a staunch catholic alikuwa mtu wa kwaya ashaitisha misa tarehe sita. akaanza kupanga sijui keki ipikwe sijui ya... yani ana, ni kama ana plan for her own you know mm. hospitali pale aga kana alikuwa na black book akapanga mpaka misa na manyimbo zenye zitaimbwa akaandika mpaka list ya wanakwaya wenye watakuja kufanya nini kuimba kwa hiyo misa tarehe ngapi sita. tarehe sita. tarehe saba sasa ndio min mirudi hospitali that sunday but atukukaa sana lin mama alikuwa anapiga kelele mimi namwangalia hivi akiona mtu anamuita ana shout anaita kelele anapiga kelele anapiga kelele hata shosho wangu alikuja but akakaa mahali kando mali mama hata hata muona sister yake alikuwa up and about mamangu anaitisha simu ndo contact wana kwaya na unajua at that time lin watu wangekuwa angekuwa possible watu ku travel because ilikuwa time elections mambo zilikuwa hobo and um, we wanted yeye yeah, apone ndo tufanye hiyo thanksgiving mass unajua no, wewe fanya thanksgiving mass kama mtu wako alive no. uzuri nikiwa kwa hiyo hospitali vile niliona anaitisha misa sana kuna kati niliona father akiingia kwa ward ya wanaume nikamuita nikamwambia niko na mgonjwa hapa kuja uombe na yeye but mom really wanted that thanksgiving mass na alikuwa ameplania but sadly that that day vile nilirudi kwa hospitali hata tukukalin 
atukoka amepiga kelele amepiga kelele alafu nikaanza kuona anapumua pole 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 alikuwa anaitisha pinkila za kuna kuna i think ino alikuwa anasikia uchungu akaniambia si nipatie dawa mimi siwezi mpatia dawa unajua vizuri dawa ndo zimemweka hapa kwa ikitanda na siwezi mpatia dawa against you know prescription ya daktari mm. but in that hospital kulikuwa na in that ward walikuwa wawili wagonjwa wawili mam na another lady na huyo lady alikuwa anachungwa na sister yake anaitwa Anne akaita Anne alishaut akamuita Anne kuja nipe dawa so niko hapo naambia Anne tafadhali usipatie mamangu dawa because you know Anne katoka hapo nje kwa pazi ya kidogo na mimi sasa nazunguka wapi hapo kwa kitanda naenda na muangalia narudi nyuma na muangalia narudi nyuma Lin vile alianza sasa kunyamaza ameongea ame sana amechoka unaona akaanza kuitisha ameitisha painkillers ikabidi nurses wamekuja wamempea some drug ya kumtuliza kidogo Kiki kukaka kidogo my aunt akakuja akamwangalia akaniuliza isi mbona konso hapumui i'm like hi aunt yangu akachomoka lakini mimi kurudi pale kwa bed mama alikuwa anapumua ni vile anapumua tu pole po pole pole nikasema ni sawa acha my aunt alifikiria ni oxygen imeisha mm-hmm. because kuna vile ina huwa ina bubble mm-hmm. na hiyo bubble ilikuwa imeacha kidogo akatoka akaenda kutafuta na sisi wa kuji wa exchange hiyo mtungi ya, ya oxygen lakini sami niko pale tu bado namuangalia lin mama alipomboa mbili za mwisho na akanyamaza so ndani yangu i'm like ah at least ameacha ku shout at least ametulia at least you know ametuliza hiyo nikaenda kwa bedingi ni kando kusimama kwa dirisha kuangalia Aunt yangu ameenda ameita nurses wameenda wameleta mtu mwingine. No, nurses wamesimama hapo. Wakaleta pia ile staff ya kupima pressure. I don't know if it beeps but ndani ya kichwa changu nilikuwa najiambia this thing is supposed to beep. But I could beep. Deep down. Naambiwa ah ah it's over. Lakini kuna kitu kinaniambia ah bado wako. So naangalia tu. Nasa kaniangalia akaniambia unaweza kaa kwa pazia hapo nyuma. Nikatoka. Hmm. Sijui ana liingia aje kwa hiyo pazia. But ana alitoka. Vile alitoka nje kwa pazia nikamuuliza kumeendaje. Ana akajaribu saa kunishikilia. Nikajua it's, it's done it's over. Nikaingia kwa pazia nikapatana na huyo nasi mwingine. Nikamuuliza ameenda. Deep down lean I knew the journey so hmm. and lean sometimes tuna tunaongele shangwe in so many ways unaambia ngwa the universe communicates in so many ways ni vile sometimes we don't want to listen we don't want to see the signs that are placed you know on our path kuna wakati tukienda kupeleka mam pale masi hospital Nime, nimesimama kando yake ameketi kwa wheelchair and my shushu amesimama hapo tukasikia third kitu imeanguka kwa flow mbele yetu ta and huko mbele kidogo kulikuwa na family walikuwa wameleta baba yao pia afanyiwe dialysis or something tukauliza aya ni nini hiyo that other family wakasema ni mwewe imegonga dove ikafanya nini ikaanguka ikaanguka mamangu kwa kanisa the kind of songs alikuwa anaimbisha sana sana ni nyimbo za amani dove ni sign ya Peace. amani and then looking at my mom's life na what led to her demise ni mwewe tu ilimwangusha because you know it's life and everything that she's been through i i saw that as symbolism and the moment i looked at that dove kitu ikaniambia ni kifo na si kitu poa nikalenga hiyo sauti we we are not supposed to lenga to make a hizo signs kila mahali i brushed that thing off but later ikakuja ikani hit nika nikajua he kumbe nilikuwa naonyeshwa hizi vitu and mom hata akitoka nyahururu alikuwa ashatoka kama ameambia uh, a friend of hers arudi huko tukikaka kwa hospitali anatuambia mimi nataka kwenda kwa mama kupumzika nini hamnielewi so these people when when they are going some of them wanajuanga wanaenda jani yao imeisha and hiyo thought imenisaidia kusonga sana kwa igrif jani yangu because i understand that where there is life there is death 
and we have to accept that fact we cannot live without darkness we cannot live without this other side of your life this other spectrum of your life yeah ya kifo so even though mama lienda <laughs> na i think from there it's also been a journey mm. even a journey on its own and from there bado safari in the land yeah mm. you said your ni life your ni life your the dove na your mwewe mm. symbolism mm. your ni life ilikuwa imegonga mm. your mama mm. take me through growing up mm-hmm. what kind of environment did your mom provide for you hi wacha nianze na mali mimi nilizaliwa hiyo hiyo story yote so i was born in nakuru in 1994 And in 2002 ikabidi nime join mama yangu alikuwa shaenda nyahururu she was given a transfer to nyahururu and i had to join her in 2002 but at that time mama alikuwa sha moving na my stepdad yeah so mimi nilikuwa mtoto wa shosho mm. but i had to join my mother so i joined my mother in 2002 tukakana eh kidogo and then in 2003 my brother was born so in a picture stepdad ambaye at, at the beginning tulikuwa tunajua ah mimi nikubali unaambia ngwa ukileta mtoto <laughs> mtoto akiletwa kwako unakubali mama na mtoto mtoto usi usiache mtoto nje so at at the beginning tulidhani ni hivyo because uh, tulikuwa tunaenda na nipeleka places tunafurahia nini nini but vile brother yangu alizaliwa akaanza kulewa ni kama sasa ilim hit that mm. there's a stranger in your home there's someone else in your home mwenye sio nani sio wako akaanza ku, kuingia usiku wanaongea uh, ni kama aliacha pia kuwa responsible bills ni mama na, analipa and all that and um, ikawa mbaya Ika, ikafika mahali ananipiga <laughs> and uh, mimi sasa nilikuwa na feel like i don't belong nikaanza ku create hiyo hiyo picture kwa kichwa that I'm a stranger here I'm a burden to my mother mimi ndo nafanya kwanza anapigiwa kelele yeah. nikikosa kukaa kwa hii nyumba si itakuwa poa sana yeah. and in fact we we have a new a new mtoto here my brother so I should let my mother do what ashughulikie mdogo need zangu azifanye nini hazijalishi sana but then at some point I started becoming rebellious Juu nimeona hapa uh, sitakani huyu amekuja kwanza kuninyang'anya mama. I don't know my mother vizuri. Nimetoka kwa shosho, nimekuja kukana mamangu and then she's gone. Mm-hmm. You know. So nikaanza kuwa rebellious. <laughs> nikaanza kuwa mchafu mchafu. <laughs> uh, kuna kuna shule nilikuwa nimepelekwa. Nilingia nikiwa very clean. Unaona wale watoto wa kubeba handkerchief, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. kasichana ka smart, kama polish, eh, kama polish viatu but vile niliona um jamaa akuji correct nikaanza kuwa kichwa ngumu kuna mali kwa, kwa hiyo shule nilikuwa nasomea kulikuwa na trap ya maji chafu unapata nimeenda nime deep mpaka kichwa i'm like hey sa, sa later i was like what was this stupid hmm? ninaeka mpaka wadudu kwa mdomo li ku create attention kwa watoto wengine hmm? and some other mm. crazy things mm. i did vile nilifika class 5 lin nilitoroka nyumbani kuna kati my stepdad alinipiga kofi zingine mbili za maajabu because nilikuwa nimekata ku okay sikuwa nimekata nilisahau kumwagia maua maji alinipiga slap zingine mbili karibu ni dunde nikajiuliza ni nafanya nini hapa hmm. na since nilikuwa nishaanza kuwa rebellious kuna wakati asubuhi nikasema hata sitapolish viatu nitavaa gumboots nani ataniuliza asubuhi mamangu akaniona na gumboots akaniita hii ni nini hii umeva akajam polish viatu vai tunataka so, ikawa ni kama ni argument mm. mama kanichapa na hiyo siku ndo nilifanya nini ukatoroka toroka oh me oh mmeniweka hiyo position na mimi nitawatesa wacha nitoroke i walked i think i walked for about 15 kilometers to lishao i don't know kama yes. najua ile njia yes. from nehururu to nyeri yeah. i walked mpaka lishao na nenda kwa nani mama ya my step dad alikuwa na issue huko kwa barabara ndo nilipatana mtu alikuwa na baisikeli na ni i don't know nilimuongelesha nikamuuliza unajua mali so and so tunaweza enda na mimi ni wa godly huo msiange kwa mbaya 
labda tungekuwa hapa mm. leo mm. so nilitoroka but the following day nilifanya nini karudi nikarudi <laughs> na kurudishwa the other year nikafanya nini katoroka boarding eh. nilipelekwa boarding because ni kama waliona haka mahali kamefika nivo nivo but it's a deep inside <laughs> deep inside deep leave. inside i'm angry yes nimenyang'anywa mama eh huyu ni mtu hata akilewa unasikia anasema yes yes mtoto wangu so i know i'm a burden i know i'm not wanted you are misfit i am a misfit hmm? na pale nyumbani mali mamangu ametoka the people dealing with traumas because they've been in a you know a broken home mali hata yao ilikuwa mbaya kulikuwa na vita wengine wanatoroka wengine wanafanya nini so the kind of energy sometimes they you know wana project so najua bado hata upo sitaki kanisa you know i have to be on my own mi niko kidhi yangu sasa ni mimi na mungu wangu you know na maybe masomo nikaingia boarding nikasoma soma and then pale boarding ndo nili discover hey i can entertain mimi ni msanii nili realize hapo mimi ni msanii by the way so my escape ilikuwa music sunday ikifika watu wameenda unaona vile yes. time ya service shule kulikuwa anga na presentations mm-hmm. watu wanaimba nyimbo mbili yes. wanaenda wanaketi mm-hmm. chembe hata anaimba kumi utamketisha <laughs> Nenda lean. Lean. <laughs> Ungeniona pale Rosmo Hando mpaka naruka. Hey. Nyimbo za Rosmo Hando, Sidi eh, Angela Chibalonza, Emachichi, you see those mm-hmm. gospel artists wa kitambo. Nilikuwa yes. nimwashikilia hivi. Eh ninaimba lean. Uh, I believe <laughs> that's that's where I found art and I found it as an escape kwanza because ilikuwa inanisaidia sana kutoka kwa hiyo environment mm-hmm. ya nyumbani. Mm-hmm. But where's the escape? Nikiwa class 6 nikaanza kupata migraines. And uh, vile nilikuwa naendelea kusoma ikawa even more. Nilikuwa na mwana migraines for about one week. A whole week. Nalala na mka na sikia thing kichwa. Nalala thing kichwa. Paka mwenye bibi mwenye shule ni alikuwa anatupea. Alikuwa anatupea madawa. Ananiambia she bet we had the dawa mono. Ajui. <laughs> <laughs> Aju, hizi kupenda kwangu yes. na hii ni kitu imenipata and siwezi complain. Mm. Siwezi complain. Ju nilikuwa nalia sana usiku. Mm. Ah mchana nasoma na interact na watu lakini usiku lean. Pilo yangu machozi. Nimenyang'anywa ma mama. Na siji babangu ni nani? So from there nimeanza kupata ile moto ya I want to know my dad now. Huyu hey. mwingine amenionyesha mimi si hapa. So babangu ni nani? Nimeanza kuuliza mamangu nikienda home maybe mid term naanza kumuuliza babangu ni nani Mama ananiambia nilisikia alikufa ile tu nilisikia Nikafikiria na ni brush off Ile unaona venye watoto wanaambia ngo eh hey, babako aligongwa na meli <laughs> ndo, ndo ufanye ni <laughs> unyamaza So that's that's what I thought my mom was doing and uh, deep down I was angry Kulikuwa na kamoto mm. Nikafanya primary uh, with hizo mashida za kumwa na kichwa ni nini mm. na I used to sing a lot class wengine wanasoma niko hapo Michael Jackson na kingiza kichwa wa yes <laughs> <laughs> unajua <laughs> you say more class sometimes mm. inafungianga energy ya mtu yes. mimi na feel that's when i discovered i have this other side of me mm. yenye wild yenye ni na siku anaweza kukaa kwa class poa sana. Yes. Nina kaa na nyamaza ati tunasoma sijui ni kichwa changu ina Whitney Houston. Niko hapo nimeini. <laughs> you know that's what trauma does to you Lin. <laughs> una lose focus. Aki kitu ni relatable. Una lose focus, yes. unaanza kufanto, mm. unaanza kuenda dunia zako. Una una imagine a world. Yes. Ndio okay. niko pale kwa stage nimeshikilia mic nina nilikuwa dunia yangu and with all that nilipita sije nilipita aje nilitoka na 386 marks yes nikaenda tumutumu girls nyeri county tumutumu bado sa unajua nini yangu na mom bond yangu na mom ndio inaendelea kuwa stretched mm. nimetoka nyumbani with all that nimepelekwa boarding inaenda ikiisha pole pole but bado kuna ile you know we are loving with detachment mm. Hata kama ni mzazi kuna yes kuna hiyo mapenzi but kuna detachment juu sitaki kumsumbua sitaki kumkujia touch sana juu kuna watoto wengine wawili nyuma ya nyuma yangu 
So high school nika discover sasa festivals, drama, music. Eh? And that was even better because I I could tap into that space mm. anytime. Mm. Uh in form 3 I did a play. I was the main character and ilikuwa inaitwa Illuminata. Na kwa hiyo play lin I mean niuliza mbona nimetaka kushare story yangu. Hiyo play ilikuwa inaanza na mimi niki, nikitaka ku commit suicide because my mom alikuwa amekufa kwa hiyo story and kulikuwa na so much nilikuwa nishachoka and I was living in a children's home. But story ilianza when my classmates wananiambia Illuminata tell us your story. So when my mom passed on hiyo kitu ilikuja kitu ikaniambia tell us your story and when you did ile story ya mama gabriel mm. you remember mama gabriel i watched mama gabriel story ndani yangu kitu ikaniambia tafuta lingoke share your story it, there's nothing to lose fanya it <laughs> you know anyway that one play ndo ikani i think ndo ilinifanya nikapata hadi hizo gig za ku act because pale kwa adjudication panel kulikuwa na mwalimu wa drama wa Kenya Institute of Mass Communication alini watch and when i finished from falling nikafanya kazi kwa cyber nilika cyber for 8 months na cyber ndo nika nikichokora niki tu facebook ni nini ni nikapatana na Kenya Institute of Mass Communication i really wanted to go to multimedia nilikuwa najua nataka kuwa news anchor okay. <laughs> Nilikuwa okay. napenda tu. Yes. You know, ni mami mm. niniambiwa tu well good afternoon and welcome. Eo. Hey, come on now. Yes. Let's <laughs> get <laughs> to how again? Yes, well good afternoon and welcome to the news at one. Eo. Yes. Sasa. Girl, lakini mama isi hakuwa na nini, hakuwa na fees. Yeah. Hakuwa na pesa ya kufanya nini ya kulipa hiyo multimedia. Mm. Ndio nikakaa pale cyber na vile nilipata Kenya Institute of Mass Communication on Facebook kuna post ilisema for more information contact Mr. Buhere Sijui kama Bella shaitaja Mr. Buhere but mm. Mr. Buhere ndio patron wa drama Kenya Mass Nika inbox nikamuliza do you have drama in your school because hata ndo niende tumutumu nilisema lazima niende mahali kuna drama mm. so i asked do you have drama in your school because i i love acting eh? Buhere akanizo ulikuwa shule gani? Kumbe alikuwa shani ward. Yes. Eh and uh, I, See how that was God works. Yes, that was a destiny. Abanisha kwa destiny helper. Yes, connector. Yeah, connector. So Buhere aka akani akanisaidia nika paka nika nika admitiwa kwa shule. Mm. In one way or another niliadmitiwa but mamaangu hakuwa na pesa lini. Kabidi amechangisha. Kaongea na marafiki, family kidogo kidogo akapata some amount uh, na nikakuja Nairobi mm. but one reason why nilitoka pale cyber kuna wakati hiyo ab- cyber ilikuwa ndani ya supermarket na this a day mimi sikuwa napenda kukaa pale juu ukiwa cyber unaona maisha ya watu wengine inaendelea pale facebook mm. yameenda shule ke yameenda KU yes. na hata kupita sana huyu kwanza alipata D mimi nafanya na kupi <laughs> Mimi nafanya nini saiba kinikiimba tu nyimbo za Michael Jackson I need to go out there because this town is too small yes, for me I yes. need to go out there yes. And then something happened Lynn uh, there's someone in that place who came one day and harassed me sexually Nika get in a what the hell am I doing here I cried so much nikasema lazima nitoke ndo nikaanza kufanya nini kutafuta shule So vile mama li, ali manage kupata hizo domi nilikuja straight to Nairobi. A friend of mine anaitwa Marion tulisoma naye high school akani host kwa room yake for a month. Baka nika join Kenya Mass. Pale Kenya Mass <laughs> the first uh, graduation ceremony. Yeah. I think ni kina njugushwa alikuwa na graduate that day Mr. Matiangi ni alikuwa guest of honor. I did a solo us and a friend of mine pia anaitwa Mbaruk tulifanya solo verse pamoja yeye akafanya Kiswahili mimi nikafanya English Matiangi akabambika akasema in fact i'm gifting this to pesa kidogo ikaingia kwa fees so mimi ni wa god lean mama ametafuta hiyo kidogo amelipa atujui ingine inatoka wapi but Matiangi amekam ameongeza fees so you know this is the second time yeah 
I'm hosting someone yeah. that has directly been fees yake imelipwa na mati yangu I promise you. <laughs> we we hosted another gala kona triplets mm-hmm. joy mm-hmm. she said the same thing yeah. about mati yangu Ah, may God bless him. God bless him. Mm-hmm. Alisaidia sana. But sasa meanwhile, mamangu pia alikuwa anatafuta pesa yeah. ya kujazilia yeah. hiyo pesa yenye alikuwa amebakisha. Lakini uh, siku kaa sana since tulikuwa tunafanya drama ni mm. nini akina njugusha, kina Abel wanakuja wanaona items and uh, pale Real House Elves kulikuwa na character anaitwa Njambi. Yes. Njambi alikuwa na ball at mm. the time and she needed to exit and there you know maternity leave yeah. and all that. So she, they, they needed a re- replacement in, in that house mm. alikuwa anafanya kazi kwa ma, kwa baba boy. You know who called me? Njugush. Njugush akaniuliza, "Sasa Chibet, unaweza act kama mboche? Hebu kuja tao saa moja." Sawa. Oh. And that's how I started acting pale Real House Elves. Kama nakusumbua ro Itabidi utoe hiyo raw uweke spare kwa sababu simochiliko uraisi. Huyu akajua njoko nako box yangu, anaweza ajifungie kwa fridge. Na mimi sikuwa mimi sikuwa na dirt ni kitu yenye ni character yenye ninge flow nayo for, for long. But pale Abel na Philip wakiona potential, you know Philip Karanja, yes. akiona potential anatakanga ku tap na mm. I, I think that's what they did with me. Nikaka pale Houses for three years nikatoka 2017. Ah yeah. uh, After hapo 2018 Abel akanipigia simu. Kaniambia hey, Chebet niko na character nataka ukuje ukue sister ya Sumo hali. Uko wapi? Ni kwa Eldoret. Kuja. <laughs> so that's how I got uh, that other character in Sona Johnny on mm-hmm. Maisha Magic East. Mm-hmm. And um haikukaa sana because niliongea show ikikaribia kuisha. But from there Lynn nilikuwa nishaanza kupata audience. Nimeanza kupata mafans, numbers zimeanza kuingia lin and singewaacha hivyo na content creation ishaanza naona akina njugushwa na post post to clips nini nini though nilikuwa nisha nishaanza ku post mm-hmm. but i felt like i needed now sasa ku put more content out yes. there but nyuma nyumbani kumbe nina mambo ya yako yangu mama ame amekuwa mgonjwa constantly mm-hmm. you know deep down i feel like i'm the savior now in this home Nimekwa kwanza kwa kwa nini kwa TV maybe this is my journey nijijenge nisaidie mom ni mtoe mali yako kwanza ni ururu kuna baridi sana and for her body yeah, it's risky no na so nilikuwa najua at the end of it all mimi nitatoa mom kwa ile kwa ile nyumba na, na since pale ndo amepata hizo mashida za marriage and everything i think it will be best if i just work towards changing her and moving her away from that place but if you're operating on a scale of fear lean you won't you don't move eh? yes unataka kufanya vitu nini nini but deep down kama you're not okay fear can cripple fear you fear can cripple you unapata those coping and hizo trauma zote zenye nimekuwa niki you know nikiokota along the way zimenifanya nikawa na coping mechanisms zenye see healthy there you go there you go zenye see healthy hmm because if you felt all along I've always felt like a misfit ni kama watu wanitaki ni kama you know I have to make people want me so I have these people pleasing behaviors and attachment issues them to akinyonesha eh hey, I like you ni nashuri karofa ni kadogo so the kind of people wanakuja kwa space yangu of course si watu na attract vizuri ni watu na attract na kawoga fulani even relationships you know, relationships una say so, yeah, I look back at the kind of relations and relationships and friendships that i used to have i'm like what the hell is this wali ni watu wenye walinifanya nika nika grow because wali ni pair development ni character development but at the same time it's growth no no and as a content creator as ukiendelea ku grow kwa hii industry lean you need people you need people you need to network you know unafaa ku shed hizo hizo vitu zenye umejiekelea ndio uweze ku move to the next level but who is ready to do that with all those traumas and feeling like you don't have a place mm. that you belong mm. your roots are shaken your, your, fa- back, your yes. background is of your of you hmm? you are famous and breaking and breaking hmm? you have numbers umepewa identity ingine na the public 
kuna responsibility wamekuwekelea responsibilities kwa kichwa mbia watu kai mimi sijui kama naweza ongea sana content creators mm-hmm. hey don't do not you nilisikia kitu abel alisema mm-hmm. ile siku alikuwa hapa mm-hmm. even my audience they know i love them i love the support i know yeah. but i will never do anything kwa sababu nafanyia audience mm. it's a very it's a tricky place it's a tricky place it's a tricky it's a place, tricky place mm. to be in because yeah. unfortunately the same people who put you up here on a scale are the same people who will bring you True. down here True. you get it mm. you 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 i don't know where to put a line between creating content mm. for yourself mm. and not letting the determinant or the determining factor mm-hmm. be the consumer yeah. or the audience because that will be the downfall True. of so many creators. True. You wa- you want to create content because unajua itapendwa. Mm. Ni wala nilisema <laughs> it was a tough place yeah. to be in yeah. and I said I will never do that again. So me nilifanya content kujibamba most of it I did it for myself and I did it for my mom. Yeah. Mamangu alikuwa one proud parent. She was a fan. Hai, alikuwa tukienda maybe kwa ofisi na uliza mtu, unajua huyu? Unajua huyu? Unajua huyu? So I felt like as much as sijam sijamtoa mali yako, sijamsaidia venye nataka kusaidia. I made her happy. I made her proud amongst you know what we need. Maybe yes. an interact now. But Lynn, that's a very bad place to be in if you're not really okay mentally yeah unajua utapata kuna jobs nilichukua zenye maybe zilikuwa zinanilipa vibaya but since mama ataniona kwa tv yeah so i settled for for less at some point kuna wakati nili settle for less unapata mostly ni jobs nili kuna jobs nilichukua zenye singechukua mm-hmm. at this ni, venye niko sahi kuna jobs siwezi chukua but then ningechukua ndio mama fanye nini akuwe happy i feel happy aweze kuwa na kitu mm-hmm. ya kuambia marafiki zao zake this is my daughter she's mine she's mine mm-hmm. ah, later lindo nikuja nikaona life ya mama ya mama and as much as we want to make our people happy Mm. to to see this how not to see the compromise because i, I believe in the compromise even yeah. on other you know mm. on other spaces in yeah. the compromise because of mom mm. uh, so that's it ni ka create content hiyo ni audience ina grow yes but in 2020 alafu corporates wameanza kukuja lin adverts hizo hizo hey, endorsements ni hizo ushaanza kuitwa influencer that is not a title that i take with pride influencer i actually don't take it at all see see title napenda ikiwa attached kwako yeah, kwa. attached kwangu because deep down na jo mini artist I, i don't want to influence you to do anything yes i don't want to influence you wewe well, niangalie angalia vile nina move but is where at i'm influencing you tumia akili tumia akili yako your brain is your brain okay you might you know get inspiration exactly to get some inspiration from me but yeah. i can't influence yeah. you mm. i can only inspire you to do something sure so uh, au ni corporate amekuja nimeanza kuendorse brands kubwa kubwa lini kwa sababu lakini niko na coping mechanisms zenye sio healthy i don't know how to trust people i don't know how to ask for help because how of grown ups sijui kuomba msaada hata kwa watu wetu wenyewe i'm looking at my family and the, the kind of issues they have on the on their side i'm like ai huyu ako na mambo zake mengi mm. i can't ask for help na nilijipata hata nikimaliza shule nilitoka na deni ya mtu because singeza kulipa fees i had to yes so hizo coping mechanisms zikaanza kunifanya ni feel nikana choka juu utapata ni mimi naenda ku negotiate hizo biashara na kampuni i sign contracts zenye maybe sijaangalia vizuri but since ni job na itanipea some amount of money yenye najua nitapeleka ngine nyumbani nitalipa bills nachukua job lin so kuna jobs nili sign hmm. contract na nikafanya mm, but nilikuwa nachoka nilikuwa nachoka so kuna hiyo people pleasing behavior unapata nina i'm doing extra for companies 
hata kama hiyo nguvu siina sana i'm just trying to na yuko hapo kwa deliverables wewe umefanya 10 times ni katu you know ndo muni muni consider next time yes but kampuni ijui hiyo kampuni ina stick na ile contract ile contract ni ile eh so i ended up frustrated and uh, ilifika mahali niliangalia contract fulani nilisign najiona kwa posters najiona kwa gari ya kampuni picha yangu ni ile lakini sikulipwa then akili yangu imechoka 2020 nikisema it was a time for healing and all yes. that nilikuwa naangalia then hii burden nimetoka nayo kutoka nyumbani alafu kuna hii burden ya kutaka ku ku create brand na naijenga peke yangu there are people who came at wanansaidia kufanya management but lean am sina hiyo sijajifungua kwa watu sana nikiona ai huyu anaweza kuwa manager nini anafa na kutoa like we can't move together nikiona tu ai i can do better mm-hmm. Because I've always done it on my own. Utapata hata kuna job za corporate nilikuwa ninajishutia. Mimi ni place camera na direct You know quality pia itakuwa tipwa. Mm. True. So I knew. And that's why nilikuwa sometimes naongeza deliverables ndio. Nikachoka mm. leo. Nilichoka because haikuwa healthy. Unaona? So hiyo 2020 nikaanza kuangalia nikaanza kujiuliza why am I suffering? Sio ati mimi si sio ati mimi ni mtu mbaya. So nikaanza kuangalia hizo trauma zenye nimekuwa nikiokota, my my family venye iko the dysfunctionality and iko pale, kumbe imeni affect kukosa kukosa yes. initwaje kukosa identity ya baba pia imeni you know when you when you don't have a solid uh, identity uko utaishi ukijitafuta. So I felt like hiyo kukosa kuwa na a stable background ndio imefanya mpaka wa leo bado najitafuta lane i'm still looking for chibet ni nani chibet ni nani so hiyo 2020 nikanyamaza nikaanza kutoa vitu zenye hazi work and i believe it was divine timing because kuna watu pia walikuwa wanatolewa kwa space yangu bila mimi kutaka unaona friend ame fall out i started having different uh, views on life nikijaribu kushare na wengine wa you know hawakuelewi there's a path that i took yeah solitude and um, oh, you know the and, most powerful path we can take yes as human yes and i felt like uh your journey ilianza na mimi kutolewa place nilikuwa naisha i used to live in feather na five years ago nikatolewa pale nikapelekwa mali ushago ushago kidogo nikaenda kino yeah. mm. mali asubuhi nikiamka ni birds na scare so nikaanza kujinyamazia kwa nyumba lini najiuliza hizi ni nini so nikaanza kusoma soma vitu kidogo kidogo tu bila pressure ndo nikaanza kuona the unhealthy habits that i've been having pole pole naona hii ni jua ile trauma hii ni jua ile trauma mm-hmm. you know mm. and i also got a chance to look at my family and my mother and and my my shosho and everyone mm. ninaanza kuona venye wengine wamekuwa wakikop mm. ama venye wengine wamekuwa wakiishi ni juu ya vile waliishi kita, kitambo kitambo and in by the in, in 20, 2012 i had a serious uh, misunderstanding na an, uh, a family member mwenye aliongea vitu zingine serious <laughs> lean aliniambia vitu zingine <laughs> mzito mzito mm. and you know the kind of words you tell your children zinakujanga zinawa zina affect so that person aliniambia vitu kama uta i make those those things so as i move huko nairobi you are moving with those things yeah those things i'm like hata nikienda auditions ni fail ni zile words niliambiwa na wale watu wa nyumbani hao nitaki in fact sijui nitasonga aje wacha niachie tu mungu hiyo 2020 ndo niliamua sasa let me just flow kitu yenye na feel haiko kwa space yangu yes haitakaa vizuri kwa space yangu acha niondoe hmm. nikaanza ku filter out vitu pole pole i started meditating pole pole i believe meditation ndio imenifikisha hapa leo mm. so t- nikaanza nikaanza pia kusoma soma kidogo i'm not much of a reader because 
when when you have things in your mind mm-hmm. kuingiza new information ni ngumu so kitabu nilikuwa napenda kusoma soma tu vitu but as i grew up nilikuwa nachukua kitabu i'm like eh nikuchokesha nikuchokesha but hiyo 2020 nikaanza ku you know kuangalia tu vitabu kidogo kidogo naona nasoma naona <laughs> i need to i need to start afresh i bet you need to start a podcast <laughs> true story really true story ni pole pole ile so nikajambi need to create healthy living habits pole pole and boundaries and, and boundaries and I, i should learn how to say no unajua kusema no kwangu venye ilikuwa ngumu nini because we want people to love you we want people to accept you because nyumbani hujakubaliwa na wewe uli reject you at birth kwanza eh ukakuwa ukakuwa rejected mara ya pili na baba wa pili so the, the kind of energy you have around you mm. see see energy poor Mm. <laughs> and I, i i felt that in 2020 what happened lin una venye kulikuwa na lockdown kulikuwa kumenyamaza na hiyo side ya kinoba ita hiyo kulikuwa kumetulia so ni kama wanyama monkeys and what have you walikuwa wanatoka kwa hizo forest za kabete mm. wanaruka hii side mm. ingine ya i love nature i love animals I do animal photography nikipata chance and uh, that time kwa compound ni naishi monkey ilikuja nikapanda kwa mti nikapiga picha mingi but deep down kitu kaniambia enda national park go to the national park ni ndo time pia watu wengi walikuwa na enda national park jo angetoka yes. angetoka Nairobi yeah. but mimi nilienda because deep down kuna kitu nimeita so i went to the national park nikipiga picha I zoomed into an antelope's eye. Lean. I think I saw God. <laughs> I think I saw God. Nili zoom nikaanza kuangalia. Okay, I don't know what happened. Something happened. I think it was supernatural yes. or something. Mm. I saw God in that animal. Nikaanza kujiuliza maswali fulani. And I think the the the, the words your body is a temple iliingia kwa kichwa. Tunaambia ngo Mungu wako huko juli na Venye story yangu imeenda na venye nimeishi kwa kanisa na vile mama amekuwa akiishi kwa kanisa na amekuwa frustrated maybe I should start looking for God within Hayuko pale juu na sio mweupe venye wamekuwa kitu angia zile nzungu yako na nyele kwa nyumba mamangu kulikuwa na hizo posters za mzungu mzungu Hapa ndani we have our people There's, there's some strength nimepewa ndani yangu yenye si is i can't explain it it's running in my blood yes. hmm? the kind of strength that my mama mionyesha all through it's not just any kind of strength shosho yangu the same that kind of strength in yamebeba watoto 10 peke yake you know for all those years there's strength in my bloodline ancestors and africa and melanin and i started having this beautiful you know uh necessary ideas towards uh, my my roots towards nature towards you know <laughs> you see they are awakening they are awakening so it's it's that journey back to self mm. journey to loving back to loving myself my inner child mwenye analilia mama there's an inner child deep inside mwenye yes. ana feel amekuwa neglected mm. ana feel amekuwa you know and lean music music ndo ilikuwa ina shikanisha life yangu hapa kama kama chebet wenye watu wanajua na kale ka chebet kale kenye kalikuwa kana escape uh, through art hmm? na sasa hii watu watasema tio uh, there's a post i saw on a, on a blog after nimesema i was admitted hmm utapata kwa comment section watu wanasema oh it's because uh, they're living a fake life they are faking happiness on social media but yangu lin it's something that i've worked on unaona venye nakuja na dance maybe ninafanya hiyo kuchekesha watu online it's not because i want to live a fake life it's yes. because i created a life ama a space for myself where i can be happy where i can move with ease hata kama niko na mashida za wapi za nyumbani nili separate my spiritual life from my spi- my physical life 
na his spiritual life ndio imekuwa ikimsaidia kusonga mm. it doesn't matter what i've been through yes. it doesn't matter what my family is all about hizo ma traumas na my mental illness and dysfunctionalities i'll create my own light from inside and that's why energy ta star i wanted to say that you got your star <laughs> that's why energy ta star lean it's it's not a name that you talk because you are star i'm so talented no it's because i come from a place of darkness mali si jui na songa wapi but ndani ndo nime create ile spark ni naweza tap into any time through art mm. through kuji express na chenye ninafanya kuji entertain you feel me and don't let anyone mute your voice and no one can love kitu kitu yenye mtu ajajenga ndani yangu hezi bomo wanaongea kuhusu kuibia nyota sijui when i started being dormant on social media you at some point you went we, quiet yeah, i went quiet nasikia eh hey, wewe kwa ni nyota ilibi kwa ni nyota ilibi you cannot jani yangu ni yangu you cannot take what is meant for me how can you take what How? you've not given Aji. me so that's why lean nitaenda missing na nirudi online nifanye vituko zangu na niende tena nijifiche <laughs> and you come na back rudi tena na tena yes ni sema I've, i've pulled myself out of those dark spaces a thousand times and that's why mimi utaka nikienda pale pale online lean I have it in mind that there are people out there going through so much. There are people in those dark spaces. Stuck hata mimi nikuje pale kwa online nianze ku I need to be that spark. I need to be that star. star. Hmm? And with these experiences in in Mepewalin uh what I've been through. I don't take anything for granted. Hii jani yangu it's a journey of um <laughs> si yangu si experience yangu peke yake yeah. we are connected wewe na mimi the same thing we are, we are sharing one consciousness so how about learning from my experiences and then i share it with someone else mwenye ataona hiyo spark mwenye ata connect na whatever na, nasema mwenye ata relate and then from there unaambia ngwa you just plant that seed kwa akili ya mtu si lazima kuelewe sai si lazima achukue chini unasema sai seriously but plant that seed later in life love that akacha atakacha i love that mm-hmm. would you walk me through briefly being admitted because yeah. when we hear i mean not in a good mental space mm-hmm. you seek admission mm-hmm. people people just say all things yeah. and i love that we've reached a stage in life where we are normalizing mm. therapy mm. we are normalizing open conversations mm-hmm. around mental wellness yeah. Yeah. could you walk me through that and also how did you handle body shaming well ile shida yangu ya migraines ilirudi in march I think hiyo kufikiria sana and then at some point I ate something I ate a yes. lot of garlic yeah. garlic inaweza trigger mm. migraines so vile nilimwa na kichwa for four days singeza kulala migraines huwezi lala poa so hiyo kukosa usingizi lini ni kama nilikuwa ninaota nikitembea hallucinations yeah and uh, ikawa ikawa severe ili, ili ka madness mm. baby <laughs> uh, nika nikapeleka hospitali na pale si complicated lean walikuwa wananipea madawa ninalala tunaenda tunakula tuna watch mm. it's it's not something at haikuwa severe to a point at nimeenda place kama madhara nilikuwa chiromo mm. and i believe watu pale si ati wame wame chizi kuchizi mm. the people dealing with addiction yes. people dealing with those small small uh, depressions and all that so pale nilikuwa tu nime nime chill kukula tu kutuliza na hizo dawa ni za kukufanya utulize mood za mm. kutulize akili i i think that was also meant to be because kama hiyo time inge happen lean sijui ninge sijui ninge handle hiyo mm-hmm. grief ya mama aje mm-hmm. but hiyo uh, process ya kuni kuni treat ilikuwa na results za hiyo kunaona 
<laughs> nikaongeza ka kilo nilikuwa lazy at some point nilikuwa hadi najaribu ku squat kidogo I'm a very active person I mm. dance a lot mm. but sasa hiyo time venye nina, nina fanywa hiyo medication hata kufanya tizi ilikuwa ilikuwa ngumu na vile nilirudi kwa mtandao pole pole uh, ndio nikaanza kupata hizo comments eh hey, wewe umeona eh hazini affecting sana hizo comments because one lean if you one person who has a, pers- a mother I'm a parent living with disability. There's a way you see life. Uh, 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 there's a way you don't care for the physical. Kuna kitu ngumu. Hakuna kitu ngumu. And you personally you don't really care mm. about the physical appearance. Nini you know, ukiangalia hata content yangu hata za kitambo. Nishaitaje hiyo mambo na body shaming tena. Hmm? Nikiambia watu atufai kufanana we are all different we are all special it's because I know where I come from. Na mali nimetoka I, I nimelelewa na mama mwenye physically ni different i've always felt different all through so how about i tell this person out there aache kujaju watu because of how they look so this time yenye nime nime feel nime nimenona na watu wameanza kuni body shame deep down i know I, i will work on myself in fact i've started working on myself but how about ni create content yenye itaambia mtu out there hmm? that body shaming is wrong in fact kiki kunaona si kukula nimekula vibaya kuna kitu inaitwa mental health na kuna medication yenye mtu anapewa yenye inaweza fanya nini unaone but lean <laughs> si kila mtu anachukulia hiyo hiyo mm. nini poa mm. na hata nikikuja niki hapo ni sema that kiki kunaona yangu ni ku, ni, ni, ni juu ya medication kuna nyu watu hata kutokana bado au wako sangi kitu wako sema mm. and i was ready for that mimi mm. nilikuwa na bado but i really wanted to talk about my body nianze na nje alafu tuingie ndani nimwambia mimi ni mali eh nimwambia mimi ni mali mm. now i want you to see mimi si mali on the outside peke yake and that's why i shared my story online yeah. ndio watu waweze kuona ah it's not about the physical she is strong she is strong and she might have something to say about mm hii grief yenye ilimfanya akafika hapa so that's why nilianza kusema hiyo story ya my mom ni nini mm. yes. the, the bigger picture was getting here where i can speak authentically i can tell people this is who i am si kale kachebet kana kujanga hapa kusema mako singing si si the bigger picture the bigger picture focus focus on mm. that you know the real me mm. yes for the creatives that are watching because i know sometimes it's hard yeah. when you're going through a lot of things in darkness and you don't know who to call even in mm. the industry mm. did you have someone you could talk to in the industry lean as much as niko na numbers niko na watu hapa hata abeli niko na namba yake na nani na nani and these are people see ati nikiwapigia see ati watakosa kushika simu yangu ni nini but deep down ni nini ni nini na ugupanga ku, ku approach watu i don't know how to do it i'm afraid of rejection mimi mm. ni mtu nimeishi na hiyo kabari ya kwa kichwa yenye na feel i need to do things on my own yeah. hawataniielewa na hakuna mtu ameyanielewa vizuri niki grow so, so how, how about i mm. just do it peke yangu mm. tutapatana mbele yeah. yeah. But I've noticed sometimes you don't have to do it alone. You don't have to. It's you're it's, not supposed takes, to do it. You are not supposed to do it alone. No. And sometimes I think the for me the hardest thing I've realized it takes a creative to understand you. I swear sometimes I seem crazy. Yeah. And I just say I will not talk to anyone else about this cuz I feel like only another artist anaweza kuelewa. Anaweza kuelewa so for me there are always those people that i know enyeka kifika sasa ni ile place yeah. ni kabaya yeah. ah mimi sikufi peke yangu inao lazima tutabe lazima huyu na huyu atanisaidia i found that it works, it, works. That it, it it helps sometimes you don't have to be breaking inside alone like it does sometimes but you have to depends ni nani pia unaweza endo waambie mtu alafu kesho ujipate uko kwa blog 
na venye wachele wangu na venye wachele wangu utapata oh my god hizo shows za lean ni kama ku watch TV whatever i'm like bye bye you know yeah. so it it helps sometimes when you have someone also in the industry mm. to talk to lakini lean if you if you've not been bringing people into the space i know what you're talking about It's yeah. really you fear. You fear. Fear. You know go pango unaweza pigia mtu mara mbili akose kuchukua na kwa siku call hiyo siku. Ama kusengenya. Ama I want to call back hiyo siku now you are like why did I even think hey. of calling of calling but as you say as you rightfully said you are a star. Yeah. I hope you are still I hope you still trust in your art. I do. I And do. I love that now you are creating from a place of consciousness from a place of love and from a place of love they say the worst thing that can happen is giving the mic to a wrong person yeah. you are yeah. creating from a place of love mm. from a place of kindness yeah. from a place of you want this you know you are worth mm-hmm. you know how to quote your price yeah. even if clients come rasa yata absa wakakuja you know how to quote oh, yeah. you know how to quote your price and i'm loving but that but it's a journey it, it is a journey. a journey of unlearning and mm-hmm. relearning and, and learning, again. learning again there you go yeah yes. and that's what the awakening is for mm-hmm. shed off what what does not serve you and start picking those things mm. that you feel zina align na purpose yes. yako zina align na journey yako yeah yes. na kuna pressure na kuna pressure for who for pressure what? is for kuka if we are not going <laughs> <laughs> Ni use mam how pressure is for kukalin hmm? alafu mi okay vile nili nimeangalia life yangu and the kind of things that mm. i've been picking along the way if if it doesn't happen in this lifetime we have another chance we do we do, we do. na hatutaishi let me tell you lin mamangu where she lives nimesema at some point i really wanted to change yes. her situation huko haikuwa poa hata hiyo kwenda kujenga ali get a plot somewhere mm. akaenda aka, akaishi peke yake vile waliachana na my stepdad and all through nikisema i want to help my mom ni mtoe pale nimekuwa na hiyo sijui naweza kuambia je but juzi i don't know if you watched ile blog ya mili wa jesus mm. Alikuwa ametoka ku renovate nyumba ya mama yake. Lean. Nililia. Niliwatch your blog I was like guy I failed. Yeah. Deep down I felt like nilikuwa na hiyo pressure ya kutaka kutoa mama kwa hiyo place. But since ameenda kama sijafanya you feel hmm? ameenda kama sijam sijamtoa mali ana, anafaa kutoka ameenda kama sijamsaidia venye anafaa kumsaidia. I put purpose in my head. Hmm? It's never too late. I, like neza sahi neza amuani ishi life yenye mama alitaka niishi. Yes. Mm. Nisianze kuji blame at you si kufanya hivi na hivi na hivi bila pressure. Thank you. Bila pressure. Thank Nilikuwa you. na pressure hiyo time. Yes. But unaona singe control venye life in, imeenda le. You know mm. one, if, one one day mm. I had a conversation with my big sister again. Me I'm now you. Yeah. I want to get my mom out of the place she's living. Mm. Uh, even right now I enter that gate hakuna car bros I'm like oh my god I'm feeling as a daughter mm. like I even want to renovate her whole house. Sijui nani alienda kampakia paint ya red <laughs> ndani like I've just been saying I want to paint the whole house. I want to turn it around. Yeah. And I remember I was having now this I, one day I was so broken so I was having this conversation with my big sister Shiko and she told me clean kwambie unajua mama anatakanga tu nini we pitia hapa umsalimie okay. mkae kidogo halafu we hiyo tu ndio inakuanga joy mm. of my mom yeah. and i want you to see it that way yeah. as well yeah. you were there with your mom mm. you held her hand mm. you were there in the hospital you did everything you could yeah, sure. you, you might not have given her the outward mm. appearance mm. but you fulfilled the desires sure. of her heart sure. you were there and i love that you came to that realization ishi life yenye mamako alikuwa anataka uishi mm. me as long as i'm happy my mom is good yeah. i'm still gonna do, do renovate her entire mm. house mm. i'll still put cabros i'll still do everything yeah. but right now mm. sina pressure mm. na feel as long as my mom is happy mm. ndani anaona mtoto wake anajaribu i don't have desire kukuwa sad yeah. about cabros yeah. ama paint i stopped talking about it so just 
knowing you were there and now you have that you came to that realization wacha niishi life mama nataka mm. that's the way to go yeah, sure. that's the way to go yeah. i can't i'm not even saying no oh, being born 94 mm. is but i'm looking at you you too young <laughs> you too young if someone at your age mm. was able to put the things that you've learned in my head mm. right now mm. si jui ningeko wapi chebe lakini lin as you as you grow na jua society pia inakuangalia hmm? sasa hii nikiambia watu niko 29 the first things wataniambia ni oh si hao wale si hao wazai si hao wazai si hao waolewe kwani kitanda watu ulala wangapi no true story mm. Kitanda watu ulala watu wangapi? Unaweza lalo kwa wewe na bwana yako ama na bwana yako. So mimi kuolewa mm. sa ama kutolewa, mm. kuzaa ama kutoza mm. na tulali kitanda moja. Mm. Why do we gotta let that pressure get into us? Yeah. Do you want to actually give birth to a child without healing the traumas in your life? And that's what I, I believe that's what society is ignorant about the things that we carry in our bloodline I believe we have to yes. heal them we have to break those cycles yes. and patterns now watu wa unangi you know they no, don't see that watu wa kotuza unataka yeah. niwazalie watoto waine hapa yeah. without anyone having healed their traumas I sit on this show mm. and I'm talking to young people a lot lately and some of them are saying si kumwambia anizai mm. can't old people understand what these kids are talking yeah, about yeah. there was no pressure mm-hmm. to give birth to me yeah. so that you could put me in a broken mm-hmm. family yeah. you could have healed halafu tupatane katika you are only 29 don't don't do it does it get to you though no Thanks. At this at this particular time it doesn't really mm. get to me because mm. I've looked back ni me mi nimefanya inner work. Lean ni me dive. Yeah. Ni hizo meditations I think zimenisaidia mm. kuangalia, kujiangalia. Mm. Na mimi nashukuru sana mamangu alini support all through me too. She was my biggest fan. Ningekuwa sa ku post lean alikuwa ananiambia, "Eh, hey, na umenyamaza sana." <laughs> na umenyamaza sana. And let me tell you Lin, I danced at a funeral or rather vile tulimaliza mazishi hivi nilimba nika dance hata vile watu waliendelea ku walienda jioni tulikaa mahali na family tumewasha moto nikaimba nika dance na watu wako wana, wanajua why i'm doing it mm. i even had a, an acquaintance hata nisimuite friend mm. alichukua when we were dancing tuli dance na watu wa drama wenye tulisoma nao Kenya mass the lady took those videos zenye tuli dance alichukua tatu akapeleka tiktok akaenda kunishangaa huko guy huyu ana dance aje time yenyewe anatoka kuzika mama yake like how but this is the kind of energy my mom loved it's it's something that is that was inside of her alikuwa anapenda kutuona tuki tuki dance tukiimba hata watu wa kwaya waliimba sana so that's why sasa hivi ni mama ameenda hata nikija niki kuambia watu story singeeka ile energy ya tiwe huyu huyu a live energy mama anataka kutuona tukifurahi we we need to celebrate her we need to watani rudi nyuma kidogo she passed on on a sunday wednesday sometimes me uimba ninaeka ngoma na kan kama naimba karaoke so on wednesday we had an a karaoke session na tukaimba mpaka around saa sita usiku Mom at some point alikuwa anakaa na request wimbo and one of the songs she requested was Amina by Sanai Petande. So the is what the the yo wimbo yes. later ndio ilikuja nikaona yeye mom was trying to prepare me in her own way. Mimi hmm? nataka mcheke siku ya mwisho siwe mpweke mi bado nipo. So I took those words seriously. Na nikaamua nita celebrate mamangu nikiimba nina muonanga niki, niki, nikisikiza nyimbo za kwaya nasikianga sauti yake yes. kwa umbali yes. mm. and i know when people die physically then tuna connect yangwa nao spiritually mm. so our ancestors our people those people that we share dna with yes. wako ndani yetu yeah. mm. we don't have to you know you know tunaogopa tuna nini and that's why unaambia ngwa sick strength seek from your people your ancestors call upon their god wako ndani yako and i feel that strength yes. nawanda grief yangu sio ile ati oh god na kuanga na hizo moments but so i don't have those moments where i cry and you know 
but i choose this other to celebrate you know could you are like my mom is everywhere including dani yangu including here yeah. i love that yeah. you're amazing honestly there is a part of me that feels like i want to talk to you <laughs> over and over yeah. i'm having a really hard time letting you go wanasemango and find your tribe in akwa ngumu in akwa ngumu and then tunaongeanga sana yes unajua some some information ana ama some messages as it okangi to hapalin zimetoka somewhere zimetoka somewhere mali unaambia god is omnipotent omnipresent omni science omni science so there's a lot of knowledge that is out there in pia iko ndani yetu bado hatuja tap into so tukiongea when we are connecting but i appreciate you even deeming me while thank to you. share your story on our platform i saw your text i was like oh my god <laughs> like if it was a god would you later mm-hmm. like i was like i'm not gonna take there are people i reach out to but for you i was like when she's ready i knew the tribe finds each other So when I saw it square shocked <laughs> I was like ah okay it's time she's ready let's do it yeah. and I know I don't take your awareness for granted okay. you have sparked a light in me by the way nilikama hapa asubuhi nikiwa down sana na mimi nimekuwa na anxiety eh nilikuja hapa by the way asubuhi me I was just down sometimes when you are doing this work mm. sometimes you question ni ya nini nafanya and i said i'll drink my water mm. and whatever god has planned to happen mm. is what will happen yeah. so i appreciate you, you so but much, before yeah. i let you go yeah. what do you want to tell anyone that is out there and they might not have the energy or the strength to pull themselves from that darkness the way you have breathe <laughs> oh. one breathe and um be ready to be open to learning from other sources mm. follow your intuition because ndani ndio umepewa ile wisdom yenyewe hakuna mtu mwingine mm. ako nayo ama hata kama ako nayo kuna yenye ime, ime designiwa yes. kwa yako yako it's been imprinted in your dna and everything that is out there is also inside mm. you mm. so you can tap into the strength in your ancestors <laughs> we we are descendants of slaves yes. so deep down kuna vitu tumepewa the spirit of ubuntu love you know those good vibrations you know tap into them you can sit and tap into them anytime mm yeah anytime anytime i love that mm. for our people or people that would like to just come through and check your work out or support you mm. do you have a number can you tell them your socials i know you famous man you start a bit <laughs> but you i so you have a youtube channel as well where how can people get hold of you do you have a public number or whichever currently i don't have a ca- uh, public number yes uh, but they can get me through instagram yes. tiktok uh, facebook yeah. star chebet. chebet na youtube pia na youtube pia but yes. i'm active we are getting we are, there yes we are getting there. we are getting there yeah. appreciate you thank you, you so much Lynn. you've just been a joy i know we we've talked about a lot of things but i want to affirm you ujaona yenye mungu anaweza they still more tap into it yeah. move consciously towards the direction of your dreams don't let anyone dim that star you get what i'm yeah. saying yeah. there's so much you can teach even young people out there you've gone through so much but the way you're using what you've gone through ah for me it's beautiful it's you you are actually the person that has inspired me oh. today Unafanya ni sikio kublash. Ebu blash. Ebu blash. Like I'm not even I'm not even kidding you right now. You are my source of inspiration Thank you. today. Thank you, you don't know. You've really inspired me. Thank you. And now I can't wait to push and do more shows. 
twende kakiendanga si ndio what i'm praying for ni yes. I, i want to be connected with the right people and yeah. that's why ni niliamua kuja kufanya isho the right you know mm. kama ni family kama ni, ni ni friends kama ni you know business partners yes. that's what i want that's why i'm putting my energy out yes. here Manifest the right it. people Wakuji. It's coming already. Mm, yes. Look at us. <laughs> yeah, shall we wrap it up? Yes. All right. Au tatuimbia haraka kado na venye umeimba hapa sana I was like, "Let's go and sing." I want you to sing like Muga is like I am. Just yeah, they are asking for it. Tuimbie tu ka kitu. Just tufungie tu na ka kitu. Yes. Ari tamani. Unataka ni anyway. Tuimbie tu. Wacha ni jaribu pande moja kidogo. Yeah. You broken down man tired of living life on a merry go round and you can find a fighter but i see it in you so we gonna walk it out move mountains we gonna walk it out and move mountains and i rise up i rise like the day i rise up in spite of the age i rise up and i do it a thousand times again for me <laughs> Mimi ni pata of guy yani tu ready tu ready lakini yes hey you's almost sent me there god that's all mama litamani sana kuniona studio lakini we are getting there she's here she's here she's here remember she's here yeah tap into that strength of our ancestors yes it's here it's here god i did not know she would get me guys but hey What a show. Thank you. Asante sana. Bila mimi shai kidogo. Who ina who ina No. Now I'm feeling. Oh my god. You did it. <laughs> you did it. Yeah. Go chabet. I mean so guys, uh, god, I don't know what I would say, but once again I just want to thank you for deeming me what sharing your story being on our platform i don't take it for granted and i can't wait to see you rise you asante wild heart nam to asidim your strength nam to asikwambie sijui nini how can they take what they've not put inside you how is it sini kweli ah guys at home i i honestly you know what i'm going to say i'm going to ask you to tell me what your take home is from today's conversation what an inspiration what a way to honestly kick start my week i was there but now even me you can't see <laughs> feel like pulling a john cena like you can't see me but guys let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are what you are take home from today's conversation have you been challenged have you been inspired what have you learned go check her out her social media handles are right here on the screen we'll pin also them on the comment section and also to say thank you to you guys why would we do this job i always say there is no joy serving food to people and knowing they won't eat it every time we've been here and had conversation sometimes the thing that has kept us moving is knowing that we have you ready to enjoy our meal ready to positively criticize our salt and say level hapa hayuko sawa but you guys you've walked with us it's been a journey 800k subscribers you know and i don't care to those people who are like oh stories it is not your cup of tea move over guys like move over always go and find your tribe there are things you can't force in this life those who are meant for you will come those who are not meant for you will not you get what i'm saying and i just also want to take this opportunity to thank our beautiful supporters at Absa Kenya i don't take it for granted when we have a partner coming in that means they've watched our work they've trusted us and they know that we can be able to deliver so if you're looking uko na digital uko na digital savings account chebet labda paypal sasa hakuna sasa if you have paypal but you know you know those accounts you can just you know get them at the comfort of your home 
try up sa Kenya. Yeah, Just go and try. For me, out. and let me know. I trust your feedback. Let me know. But for you guys, if you are looking into having an account and you don't have to go all the way to the bank and open one, why don't you try Absa Kenya? They have a digital savings account. Their interest rates per annum is at 9% payable monthly. They have zero charges when you open an account the way they say you need to have a minimum balance. No, it's zero and they have zero transaction fees. So why don't you try them out? Their link is pinned on the comment section as well and let me know. They cater to everyone, whether you are a doctor, whether you are a farmer, whether you are a teacher, whether you are a lawyer, whether you are creative the way we are here, whether you are an artist like us, they cater to everyone's need and they are very much reliable. And if you experience anything, my email is right here, info at lnn.digital and also to say thank you to my incredible team, Muga, Edgar, Skola, and of course our amazing editors, Mary, Kelvin, and Sam for compiling this episode and making sure it reaches you guys right on time. I've been your host, Lynn Gogi. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. Take care and bye-bye. I rise up. <laughs>